A Senate study concluded that some historical documents about children who attended Indian residential schools remain inaccessible to Indigenous peoples. These records can play a crucial role in identifying missing children who may have died while attending residential schools. It's possible their remains are in unmarked graves and burial sites across the country. Legally, residential school records must be turned over to the National Centre for Truth and Reconciliation. The centre then shares information with communities and families who are seeking answers about their loved ones. But federal, provincial and territorial governments, as well as Catholic entities who ran the majority of the schools, still haven't handed over key documents. The Senate Committee on Indigenous Peoples wanted to know why these records are so hard to access. Here's what senators found out. Historical records about residential schools are scattered across the country. Some are in boxes stored in government warehouses and in church basements, while others are held in museums and archives. To access them, one must travel to those locations and search through piles of paper documents. On top of that, requests to view residential school records are often denied based on privacy laws and church policies that limit or prohibit the disclosure of these documents. That means government and church employees, who may have little knowledge about the history of residential schools, get to decide which records are relevant to disclose. Communities want more than a list of names of missing children. They want to know why this happened, what was life like for those children at those institutions, and of course, where the missing children are buried. The Senate committee published its findings in a report. It also made 11 recommendations to improve the access to information about residential schools based on the principles that Indigenous peoples should have ownership and control of records that relate to them. Read the report at sendcanada.ca slash APPA.